Hi guys, my name is Shubhang Garodia, Chemistry Master Teacher at Vedantu. Today we are going to talk about JE Advanced 2020 paper and paper 2. We are going to specifically talk about question number 7. Now this is a multiple correct type question. He says, we have m grams of a compound x and we are trying to weigh it in a spring in a balance as shown. He says we are measuring it in absence of magnetic field, in presence of magnetic field and in presence of magnetic field it is observed, in absence of magnetic field it is observed that it is perfectly balanced, in presence in certain cases it is deflected upwards, in certain cases it is deflected downwards. This is the given observation. Okay. Now we have to tell which of the following are correct statements and we have some compounds given to us. So let's first try and understand what is happening here. Now, we know that if we have a diamagnetic substance, what happens if you have a diamagnetic substance? Diamagnetic substance are repelled by magnetic field, right? So, they will be deflected up. If we talk about uh, paramagnetic substance, what happens to paramagnetic substance? Because of unpaired electron, guys, they are attracted towards magnetic field and they are then deflected, they will be then deflected down. So we have four compounds here. Let's take them on the next slide and let's talk whether they are diamagnetic or paramagnetic. Water. Now, we know that in water, all the electrons are paired up. So this is a diamagnetic and diamagnetic substance and therefore this will be deflected up. So A is correct. Next, K4FeCN6. Coordination compound. K4FeCN6, mein iron is in plus two oxidation state. That means its electronic configuration is 4s0, 3d6. We can see that the coordination number here given to us is 6. We have strong field ligands and uh, therefore easy pairing will take place and we'll have D2sp3 hybridization. No unpaired electron, diamagnetic again, upward deflection. Okay. Then which other compounds did we have? Next is O2. We know that O2 is a diradical, right? O2 is a diradical because of two unpaired electron in the pi star orbitals. Pi star may we have two unpaired electrons and therefore this will be deflected down because it is paramagnetic. Correct. Last one, benzene. Benzene is C6H6. C6H6 may all electrons are paired up. All electrons are paired and therefore this is diamagnetic. This will be deflected up. So let's go back to the question, water deflected up correct, K4 FeCN6 deflected up correct, O2 paramagnetic deflected down correct and uh, yes deflection of pan is down for benzene, no benzene was diamagnetic so deflection will be up. Hence the answer here guys is A, B and C. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us guys, stay tuned for our next question.